You probably haven't seen this secret prompt builder in Microsoft Edge yet. It might be because you don't use the Edge browser or maybe you just haven't seen it, but I'm gonna show you how. Uh, so if you don't know, welcome. My name is Jordan Wilson. I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people like you and me learn and leverage AI. So make sure if this uh, video is helpful, subscribe to this channel, I'd appreciate that. But also go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for the free daily newsletter. All right. So in our AI in five segment, we try to learn and leverage a piece of AI. So let's go ahead and find out where this is. Have you ever seen this? It is a legit hidden uh, prompt builder within Bing chat. All right. So uh, if you really want to get the most out of Bing chat, I would uh, advise you to download the edge browser. I get it. You probably haven't used it unless it's pre-installed on your computer at work. Um, I honestly hadn't really used it until a couple of months ago uh, when you couldn't access Bing chat anymore on Chrome. So I had to download edge. Uh, so let's start from the beginning actually. So uh, I'm just in a normal edge browser here and at any time in the upper right hand corner, uh, it looks like you can actually hover. You don't even have to click, uh, but you can also just click on this, uh, on the little co-pilot button right there um, in the upper right-hand corner. And then you can, which a lot of people don't know, as an example, you can generate a page summary and you can do a lot of things using GPT-4 for free right here inside of this um, you know, side panel here within Bing um, or within, uh, I guess they're calling it, Copilot with Bing Chat, Copilot for the web. I'm not sure. Uh, you, you know, there are some new updates just announced last week. So I'm not really sure what they're calling it in the long run. I've been calling it Bing Chat. So, uh, you, you know, as you can see right here, it's breaking this down, uh, you know, kind of our page right here. But that's not what I want to bring your attention to. So let's actually, you can go to uh, copilot.microsoft.com. See if we can bring that up. All right, and it's gonna have you then sign in. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hit click pause here. I'm gonna sign in quick. All right, so now I'm signed into uh, my Microsoft account. It's free to get an account just like you would at you know Gmail or Yahoo or anywhere else. All right, so we don't even need the sidebar anymore. So uh, this is, if you haven't seen it, uh, a new kind of uh, refreshed homepage for Copilot for web, whatever you want to call it. So uh, again, here's how you're going to access this. Um, so if you didn't know, you can go down here, you can choose a different style, creative, balance, or precise. Uh, if you're new, I actually might uh, recommend going precise, but that's uh, beside the point. So here's what we're going to do to access this uh, kind of hidden feature. So uh, in the sidebar, you're going to click on discover more. That's going to open up this page right here. So we'll give it a second to load. There we go. And almost like it feels like it gets stuck, but this is uh, this is it right here. So uh, here's a prompt builder, right? Pretty cool. So let's just go ahead and um, show a couple examples. So the good thing, or if you didn't know, uh, Dolly 3, uh, which is OpenAI's image model, is built into Bing Chat. And you can use, uh, I think there's some limits on it, but you can use it for free. So let's just say uh, the default here, so you can go to create, teach me, write. And then depending on what you choose in this first kind of uh, part of the prompt builder, it'll change what uh, shows up in the rest. But for now, I'm just going to say create a sketch of a futuristic. And I'm going to say, and there's always uh, suggestions or you can type yours in. So I'm going to say cute robot, click enter, and then click go. So then what's going to happen is it essentially is going to uh, put that straight into uh, the Bing chat or the uh, co-pilot for web right here. And it's using... Uh, Dolly kind of in line in this chat to go ahead and create that photo. Um, so we'll, we'll, we'll just give this a second and then we'll do maybe one or two uh, other examples. So uh, pretty cool, you know? So as you can see right here, it's powered by Dolly 3, free to use. Um, and also uh, right here, it says image creator from designer. So you can even uh, click on that and then go into... Um, their tool image creator, which I've done uh, a video on uh, previously. So uh, you can go into there and use that tool as well. So let's jump back and look a little bit more on this prompt builder. So I'm going to say, teach me about, and then I'm going to say other, I'm going to say uh, generative AI. Uh, it would help if I spelled generative, correct? Right. I'm going to click enter. And then it says, and explain it in and then uh, you can say, like, I'm five years old with a metaphor, other, 
So I'm going to say, um, I'm going to do other, but I'm going to go, I'm, I'm going to say like a pirate, uh, but with metaphors. We'll see how that works. So then I'm going to go ahead and click go. All right. So this is nice. Um, granted, in the end, all it really does is it just puts your prompt directly into uh, you, you know, the side panel right here. But I do think it's helpful, right? If, if you've never used a generative AI system before, or maybe you just need some inspiration, you can actually always just click this surprise me button. And, uh, you know, and then it says, write a story, uh, in the style of haiku about a brave night, right? So it just automatically starts doing that right away. Um, so pretty cool. So let's let's go ahead and see our uh, generative AI like a like a pirate. It says ahoy matey, uh, generative AI be like a magical treasure chest that can create new things out of thin air. It's like a pirate that can mimic your voice and say things you never you never taught it, <laughs> or like a compass that can guide you to new lands you've never seen before. So yeah, explaining the basics of generative AI in a pirate voice, but using metaphors. So. Uh, if you haven't checked out this little prompt builder, uh, it's definitely worth giving it uh, a shot. Like I said, if you're brand new to generative AI, if you just need a little help, or maybe you just like this interface a little better uh, than you know typing over uh, on the sidebar, uh, pretty cool uh, thing to do. So uh, if this was helpful, I hope it was, please go to youreverydayai.com. Like I said, this is our AI in five, where we spent about five minutes showing you a new AI tip trick or tool. So please, if this was helpful, subscribe to this channel, go subscribe to the newsletter as well. And we'll see you back for another AI in five. Thanks y'all.